Drunk Terrence says, hell yeah. Two bags of trash and at least 30, fi or at least 50 boxes broken down. Completely cleaned up in 30 minutes. I'm not a monster or anything. No, man, you're not. You're not in your pal Day 9 Squalor Goblin mode. You know what Squalor Goblin mode is. For any of you who have never experienced transition into a Squalor Goblin, it works kind of like this. You wake up on Monday. You shower, you shave, you doll your pretty self up. It's time to go to work. You get there, you sip some coffee, you say your usual greetings to your office mates, you exchange pleasantries. How was your weekend? It was good. How was yours? No one's answering anything, honestly. How's life? It's good. Good, good, good. Hey, did you get the email I sent you? It's just nothing but deferral. As this presentation that I have, both out of my mouth and on top of my body, this is me getting through the week, right? Tuesday rolls around, shower, shave, heading to work, pleasantries, filling in check boxes, say things like, things are going well, looking forward to sinking back up on Thursday. You get through Wednesday, you get through Thursday. It's finally Friday. And around 4.30 you say, hey guys, have a great weekend. You might shake a hand or two. And now, it's a three-day weekend. You get home, you order that food. You know how many tacos you should eat? Three. You know how many you do get? Six. After you're done with taco four, you're full, but you keep on eating. And your eyes are getting a little glazed over. You're like, Ugh, let's just keep watching through Netflix. And you know what? You can't even decide what it is that, we, that you want to watch, but it just feels so good to not have to do anything. You love sifting through, picking different categories. Yeah, I think uh, let's look at ancient alien conspiracy categories. Let's do this, right? Saturday rolls around. You didn't sleep well on Friday night because you ate way too fucking much. And then on Saturday you sleep in. You don't shower. You wear whatever. It's fine. You wear whatever. And you kind of just do the same thing. You know what? This is what this is how you really know when you're transitioning to squalor goblin mode, right? Because you're not... Not only have you not showered, not only do you not have plans to leave the house, not only... Are you not all dolled up and ready to be a presentable person? No. You're also slowly just feeling like, you just feel like kind of shitty. It's so clear that if you just cleaned yourself up, maybe you called another human being and talked to him, it would be good. But you're like, no, I'm not going to fucking do that. You, you order some food right around 3 p.m. because you blew right past lunch because you couldn't figure out if you should shower or if you should cook your own food, or if you should just put on pajamas. You couldn't decide, so it's 3 p.m., so you eat late. Your blood sugar's all fucked up. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, and it's like 3 again. You're like, okay, I'll just keep watching Netflix. You watch like a movie, and it's good. It was a good movie. You're like, oh, that was enjoyable, but now it's a weird time of day. It's around 4.45, okay, 4.45. This is normally when you'd be getting ready to get off work, come home, eat dinner, pick up some stuff, maybe run an errand and hop in bed responsibly by 1030, right? But you are at 445 on a Saturday where you don't have any plans then or Sunday or Monday. And this is when you just start to feel like shit again. You're like, I don't know, let me just check Reddit. All of a sudden, it's 7. And you're not hungry, but you go... Well, I probably should eat. Somehow you don't eat until it's 9.30. And again, you eat something that's way too fucking much. And you decide to stay up late playing not one of the hundred games that you haven't played that could be new and exciting. You play some 7 out of 10 game you've already played twice. That's what you do because you just had a day of awkward highs and lows physiologically pumped by this weird eating sleeping schedule. Okay? And at this point, you just go... I'll just, I'll just get it together on Monday on my day off. I don't know why you don't decide to do this on Sunday. I don't know why, as a squalor goblin, you don't just go, oh, I'm fucking up. I should just fix this tomorrow, and then I can have a great Monday. You just go, I'm going to need all of Sunday to just kind of rock back and forth, F5-ing the Reddit front page, getting on Twitter and seeing people being mad. And I'm just going to fucking do that all Sunday. Deep down, you know that's what you're going to do. So you promise yourself that you're going to do it on Monday, okay? So what do you do? You wake up on Sunday and something happens that hasn't happened to you in a while. You don't have a clean fork. You have like eight clean spoons and eight clean knives. There's plates in there, but there's just not a fork. And you're like... 
Uh, and you're just you're cleaning a fork, and cleaning a fork is hard because there's shit between the tines, and you're just trying to scrub this fork, and you're also seeing all these dishes, all these dishes. You're seeing that bag of food that you ordered on Friday night with all of the garbage from what you didn't finish on Friday night in the bag, and you're looking at it, cleaning the tines out of your fork, and you just keep going, you keep going. I'll do it on Monday. I'll do it on Monday. I'll do it on Monday. I don't know why, because cleaning my entire kitchen every time takes less than 10 minutes. Every fucking time. But I'm a squalor goblin. <laughs> Shower on Monday. Shower on Monday. You eat something that you really don't need to eat, like chicken tikka masala with four extra orders of garlic naan. You only needed two, but you kind of like just rubbing the garlic naan against that desecrated container once you're done with it. And once again, it's 4.30 on Sunday, and a thought pops into your head. A thought pops into your fucking head, and you go, my weekend is halfway over, and you can't do anything for the rest of the day. Like... You have self-debilitated, okay? You have just completely fallen apart. You stay up way too late, repeat the same cycle as Saturday. Monday comes along, okay? Monday comes along. I know this is accurate. I know we all do this. <laughs> Monday comes along. My acne's coming back, right? I, I scratch my head and my hair's a little too oily and I kind of whatever I'm a little indignant now the shame is starting to walk wash away in that boiling anger where you're like I've been so irresponsible I really got to do it and you were gonna wake up early on Monday weren't you right gonna get up early I'm gonna get up at 7 30 and I'm gonna clean this whole place up and I'm gonna get the car washed and also you know what I haven't sent in that bill that I was meaning to send in. I'm going to take care of that too. You start to feel a little ambitious on that good old Sunday night because you're planning. You're not doing. You're planning. And it feels so good that you get into your Discord channel to play some shit-ass game with your homies. And they go, how's it going, Sean? And I'm like, it's good. I'm getting up early tomorrow to clean my entire house. And I'm going to get my car washed and I'm going to mail in a bill. And they're like, wow, that's great, man. And I'm like, yeah, that's really good. That's actually the best part of the weekend. This has been the high point of the whole weekend. But what happens is, after staying up till 3.30 or 4, due to the euphoria of future Sean's responsibility, you wake up at like noon, and you're like, oh my god, fuck. Oh my god, fuck. Oh, shit. And you just, you skip breakfast, you skip lunch, you just start cleaning, you just start doing everything. You become an adrenaline-fueled psychopath. You get it all done, and all of a sudden, after hours of cleaning up what would have taken a couple ten minutes of cleaning peppered across a normal week, you have, like, finally had to deep clean off caked mold and concrete muck on all your dishes and all these bags, this thing, oh, you have to get more Febreze and spray it in the air. You finally shower. There's just parts of you that are, like, caked with stuff. You don't even know what it is. You finally clean up, and around 6, you're like, hey, hey, I'm feeling pretty good. You make yourself a dinner. Finally, you're starting to feel energized, and you go, well, I better go to bed. I got, I got work on Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning rolls around. You shower, you shave, you doll yourself up, put on your good old scented perfumes and deodorants, going to work. Sean, how was your weekend? It was good. Good, good, good. Good. How was yours? Yeah, good. Did you get did you get that email I sent you? Like, <laughs> this, I didn't realize I was going to speak truth, but I have spoken truth. I, like, literally, it wasn't even my story. It just came down from the universe because I opened myself to the universe. Like, fuck, man. Yeah, has that ever happened to you? That's, I call it being a squalor goblin. I call it being a squalor goblin, okay? And I've actually personally found that if I just get up at, like, 8 on Saturday, I have a great time. I have a great weekend. By noon, my whole house is perfect. Yeah. I've actually been thinking about this a lot because this was my 30-day project. Was just trying not to descend into that madness. 